Hello, welcome to the Cozy Corner. It's your host Cozy, and today I'm here to do the. Hold up, these cards are being disrespectful. Hold up. All right, I'm here to do the 2021 13 card spread for the Gemini. So we're gonna look at every single month of the next year and see what y'all are going, what energy is going on during those months. It can pertain to you or something that's going on around you. Of course, I hope y'all know how readings work. But if you don't, it could be somewhere around you. It could be a situation around you or something that is really... But they want you to be aware of it, obviously, because it's coming up. So, I don't know. Come back to this video every month if you want, because that's what I'll be doing. Going back to my sun, moon, rising, and Venus. I don't really go to my rising because my rising is how others see me and I really don't give a fuck how y'all see me right now. I really don't care. It can be valuable information though. But like, I don't care. I'm trying to focus on myself, my emotions, my feelings. No. <laughs> okay, so Gemini, we're gonna get straight into this. The bottom card will be your um, overall energy of the year. So it will be telling us what exactly the main year is going to be. The whole year is going to be dealing with. We're going to put that back. <laughs> All right. All right, Gemini. Gemini 2021. Like, share, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. And yeah. Okay. So in January, we have the Page of Wands, which means you will be starting a journey in January. It says new exciting news, allow your creativity to roar, doing things that fuel your passions, finishing what you started. So anything you started in 2020, you'll be finishing that. In February, we have the Knight of Wands. You need to chill out. Y'all are being disrespectful. Okay, so in Jan in February, we have the Knight of Wands, which is about passion, confidence, charismatic, and restlessness. So I think that y'all are going to go through this period where y'all are just really focused on your passions and, like, what you like doing, your crafts, and, like, um, things that you're passionate about. Like, I can get really passionate about... I'm noticing that I can get really passionate about things that go on in the world and, like really have deep conversations with people about how they're conditioned and it can be like the slightest thing that somebody can talk about and I'll break that down so that they can understand that you are conditioned to think that this 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 and that you know what I mean so I can get really passionate about that to the point where I can get emotional but I'm like just really passionate about it because like people need to understand that. so I feel like that's what y'all are going to be going through like trying to awaken that inside of yourself like going towards that thing that like really hits home and really you know bothers you but not to the point where it like bothers you drive you crazy just bothers you and you want people to be aware of or like bothers you to the point where i want to do this so so bad like i feel this in my soul to do you get what i mean so then and it says stay focused in February. Then in March, you have the two of wands, which is about taking the next steps, be bold, being bold in your decisions and your choices, partnering, partnering with others who share your dreams, expanding your plans, and continuing to move forward. Then in April, you have the king of wands. So you have a lot of fire energy. And then you have... This is... Oh, this is... I love this song. And then in um in all I mean in April, sorry, I said August. In April you have the King of Wands, which is about motivation, which is about um ambition and it's inspiration, which is talking about taking the leadership role, stepping into the spotlight, public speaking. Like if you're passionate about speaking about something, you might want to start doing that or putting stuff towards that where you're writing out what you would like to speak about, even bullet points. Um communicating your vision you could be doing that like letting people know who you want to like invest in your in your dreams and stuff like that letting them know you know um hey this is what i want to do and this is how i want to change and this is how i want to change this and this and that you know stuff like that 
and it says don't be don't be sensitive to criticism because some people are going to be like hey it might not work you know or and they think you might and it's not like some people are hating on you some people do give out that energy don't get me wrong but some people are really going to be giving um what is it um constructive criticism instead of just being like that ain't gonna work that it ain't that no like they're gonna give you a logical reason to where you'll be like aha so let me see how i can work around that or work you know work through that to where that doesn't interrupt what i want to do so then in may you have the renewal card which is 20 which is the judgment card so reviewing the past with compassion and forgiveness time to head in a new direction clarity on your life purpose and your heart you know what to do so like i just said in in april you're going to have criticism but you're going to be able to in may you're going to be able to review all of that and know who was actually giving you good criticism and who should have been who you should have been letting go in one ear and out the other and also forgiveness for yourself if you listen to those people who should have went in one ear and out the other instead of the person who was actually giving you something that was beneficial um then you have in june the two of cups which says falling in love um but i'm feeling more because of all these wands i'm feeling like this is like the forgiveness and ending of challenges don't don't give up on the people you love so then i feel like you're gonna also go through this time of noticing the people who you love and the people who was actually there for you and um like i just said the people who actually wanted to help you instead of um not not at all um so then in july we have the seven of the seven of swords then we have the seven of swords Okay, there's too many cards. We have the Seven of Swords, which is about a loss of peace of mind and personal freedom. Take caution of and beware of others' actions. Why is some of these in reverse? That don't make sense. Okay. Make sure you're being honest with yourself. This is like some similar energy that's going on in everybody's year so far. But something happens in July. Something happens in July where it's a material loss, loss of peace of mind. It's like, for some reason for you, I'm getting this energy of like something something being brought to the table like something be of course somebody being deceptive and like people just sitting around like everything's normal and you're like what the fuck is wrong with y'all and that's like your whole thing of like realizations and like oh my god that can go into anything that's going on around that time and then you have the king of swords for august which is about in intelligence respect so receiving wise counsel, remain objective and fair-minded. Public speaking, once again, communicate clearly, unemotionally, unemotional relationships, or being emotionally unavailable. Which I'm not seeing that much emotion this year. Then we have in September, the dreamer, a new start, trust yourself, Trust yourself, push aside, push your fears aside and take a leap of faith. So like in August, you're gonna get into your head a little bit and then they're asking you in September to get out of your head. And just remember that wise advice that you got and like go about whatever you wanna do, like be yourself, be your dreamer. Somebody might even lie to you and tell you that something isn't really good for you or like something um like something real like somebody's going to get to you you get what i mean in july and then you're going to have to basically you know you're going to sit in your head for a while and think about that because it's really going to get to you but then you're going to get out of that and you're just going to take a leap of faith and then so october they're saying you um wise counsel Unity with a spiritual minded community. I'm sorry, Kid Cudi got in my head a little bit. 
It says, ask the divine for help and trust that the answers will come. Tr compare traditional methods with new ideas to see which is best for you. Boom. So with this new beginning, you then lead into this um, traditional things or how traditional things work. But you just went through this how like you just restarted or have this new perspective on things. So it's telling you to in, um, in October to combine those two things and to, um, you know, have that balance of what is new, what is what is good from the past. Okay, then in November, we have the Five of Swords. Unwise choice. There's way better, there's a way better way to make you happy, avoid people who lack integrity or who has questionable, questionable motives. So boom, when you have this balance of what's new, what's oh, somebody, something's gonna come around to test you in November to see if you really did that balance of what's new, what's old, what's helpful, what's not. And then in December, you have being able, unable to make a decision, follow your own heart rather than trying to make others happy, pretending there's no problem, or overanalyzing the situation. All right. Boom, boom. What is the overall theme for Gemini's 2021? The King of Cups, trustworthy, honorable, devoted, cautious, someone you can completely trust, a situation that is safe, a solid re romantic relationship, hidden but well-intentioned emotions, a charitable benefactor, seeing a counselor. So I feel like in this year, you're all about keeping your emotions in check. Because I don't see that much emotions. So you're going into a year where it's all about the next step in your business or your passion or things you like to do. Three of Wands right under that. Eight of Pentacles right at the bottom. Enough said. I love y'all Gemini's. This was y'all 2021. I hope that y'all enjoy y'all 2021. And I hope that y'all really make wise decisions on what's going to go next, what's going on next in the world, what's going on next in your life, what's going on next in the people around you lives. And be mindful of what everybody else is going through as well. Don't only be mindful of yourself. I love y'all. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Catch me on live. Catch me on live.